morning everyone it's an absolutely gorgeous day and i am loving this weather i'm sure you are as well let me know if you've got this glorious sunshine of course i would start the vlog here while i'm doing my hair the house is absolutely up the wall but hopefully within the next few days we should have our completion date fingers crossed say a little prayer for me if you think on tonight it's an absolutely gorgeous day and i thought i need if anything to start a little bit of a spring clean because it's now i'm sure it's now officially spring it's spring on the 20th of march so it's officially spring and i'm going to do a little bit of dusting because do you ever look up at your picture frames not your picture frames your picture rails and see the dust that is on top of them well my picture rails are very dusty as soon as i have done my hair i'll be sure to show you the dust but i'm just going to hoover i'm going to hoover all the picture rails and i did take the wardrobe down from this corner ready for when we move just so it was done and, you know i had safely put away all of the screws I'm kind of kicking myself for doing that now though because i find because there's just stuff everywhere and nothing's organized i'm finding the places just really dusty since i've taken the wardrobe down all i've done really is just create a load of dust <laughs> there's literally dust everywhere like i can see it even on the lampshades of the bedside tables it's all over the shutters so i've brought the vacuum cleaner up it's on the landing so i'm going to finish doing my hair then i'm going to get the hoover out do a little bit of a clean with me well a little bit of a spring clean with me open all the windows and basically blow the cobwebs off from autumn and winter it is such a gorgeous day i've opened the windows nice and wide i'll show you they are nice and wide there is not a cloud in the sky it is just gorgeous weather i love it when it's sunny like this spring is here the days are getting a little bit longer the mornings are brighter and it's mother's day soon it's literally mother's day next weekend and i'm off out with some of my friends for a nice meal in town and i've got the most gorgeous blouse to wear for mother's day i'm going to show it to you now this little section of today's video is kindly sponsored by lily silk i've got some lily silk pillow slips and a gorgeous blouse which is what i'm going to show you now which is what i'm going to wear for mother's day for going out but before i do i'll take it off the tripod and show you the pillow slips and how the parcel arrives because i think the packaging at lily silk absolutely gorgeous so this is the packaging that arrives and these were the tubes that the pillow slips came in given the color away of my new bedroom but i chose these pillow slips now these i've still got one in the tube here which i haven't took out yet but these are the lily herb i haven't took that one out yet that's still in there i do want to keep these for the new house for when we move so i'm going to keep them in there these are the lily herb antibacterial mint pillow slips in case you want to go online and order them i think these are 29 dollars but it's absolutely gorgeous it's a gorgeous green color i'd say it's more of a sagey green these types of pillow slips are great if you don't want your hair to have any static they're great for sleeping on to stop if you get sleep wrinkles or you let me put you back on the tripod if you get sleep wrinkles or you sleep on one side which i sleep on this side of my face so i sleep on my right side if you sleep on one side then you are more prone to sleep wrinkles if you use a lily silk pillow slip it helps to prevent sleep wrinkles and they work i already own lily silk pillow slips and they are absolutely brilliant for stopping your hair from getting tatty or knotted or you know friction static and it also helps to keep your complexion nice and fresh and wrinkle free these pillow slips also have antibacterial properties as well which is and has a bonus but absolutely love this color the color is gorgeous the feel is gorgeous but i am going to keep these for the new house but i want to also show you my lily silk shirt this is their oversized drop shoulder olive green silk shirt which is just absolutely gorgeous i'm going to wear this with a pair of leather jeans and a nice little pair of heels for mother's day i'll pop it on and let you have a little look what it looks like in a sec but lily silk it has a zero waste on any of the silk that is used in their products lily silk are also working with TerraCycle, which are a well-known recycling company and they are committed to a zero waste on their productions so any remains are used for silk eye masks and silk hair scrunchies they use 
use all natural fibers instead of synthetics so i'm pretty sure when i put this on i'm going to feel like i'm not wearing anything it's going to be nice and breathable and in fact let's put it on and i'll show you just pushed it back a touch so i can show you but this is absolutely gorgeous so it's a little bit shorter at the front and longer at the back so you could actually tuck the front into a pair of leather jeans which is probably what I'll do on Mother's Day pull the sleeves up just a touch and it does feel like I'm not wearing anything it feels lovely Lily Silk Silk is ethically sourced it's sourced from mulberry trees they only use 100% naturally sourced materials and the mulberry silk is sourced from mulberry trees which takes less water to grow than cotton Lily Silk never stop innovating they are the most professional silk brand I have ever known. I have seen Lily Silk on the likes of Nina Dubrov from The Vampire Diaries, Gwyneth Paltrow, Megan Trainer. So they are a well-known brand, a brand that I know and trust and love and I can't wait to wear this on Mother's Day. Lily Silk provide affordable investment pieces like silk shirts, pyjamas, bedding, pillow slips. They have a plethora of colours for you to choose from. I will leave all the details in the description box down below for you to go and have a little look. This is a very breathable, comfortable material. It feels like I'm wearing hardly anything at all. It's actually really comfortable to wear. So I'm looking forward to wearing this out on Mother's Day. It can easily be dressed up or dressed down, but like I've said, I'm going to wear this with a pair of leather jeans and a nice little pair of heels and put some nice jewellery on and it'll look lovely. I got a size large in this blouse and as you can see, it's not too baggy or loose. It's a lovely fit. We've got a nice dipped hem at the back, which is lovely, nice and flowy. The arms, I've got a nice little bit of space. You can pull them up a touch. It's just really comfortable and versatile. And like I say, you can dress it up or dress it down. So I will leave all the details in the description box down below, but I absolutely love this. It's a gorgeous blouse and I can't wait to wear it on Mother's Day. And thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this little part of today's video. If you're thinking about problem I've got now is getting into this corner <laughs> because there's just so much stuff here but I've got to try and get to it because the place is too dusty. The loop vacuum or the loopy vacuum I've took it off its little but rest which is this. I love this vacuum cleaner. It's so easy to put together, carry the handle and get all those hard to reach places really easy. They've got a bigger brush that I'll use on the shutters and the headboards. I'll also use them on my lampshades and just get rid of the dust. comes out and it hits the surfaces everywhere it just looks really dusty that's about as much as i can do in here i'm going to get my cleaner and clean off the tops but what i wanted to do mainly was get rid of the dust off the shutters and the picture rails they're done and once all of this has gone to the storage unit we'll have a nice deep clean and make that look better i'll tell you what else i'm going to do i'm going to strip the bed and get it into the washing machine and get it dried on the washing line Currently 18 degrees, absolutely gorgeous, and the bedding is nearly dry and it's only been out for about half an hour and it is literally nearly dry. Our new seeds are sprouting perfectly. We've done this so when the new people move in there's nice fresh grass because unfortunately this is where the pooches have a wee. <laughs> so we've put all new seeds down there as well. But these were done literally at the beginning of March and they've already come through and they're growing nice 
Whilst the weather was so nice, I stripped the covers off the chairs. I've done these this morning. Covers off the sofa. Look at that too. All the pegs there. And the cover off this chair. I put them out on the line. I've been dusting. Look how disgusting that is. That, well, there's the covers anyway off the sofa. They're all washed and dry and ready to go on. But this cleaned this radiator. All the skating boards and all the picture rails have been done in here. These picture rails as well and all of the panelling. Skating boards in the little grooves in the fire have all been done with that little dust there. I have also been looking at new sofas for when we move. Obviously, I'm not going to order it now. I'll wait until we move. But there's a couple that I liked in Marks and Spencers and I think it might be called Sofa Club. But I got these covers which... I think they're now sold out on H&M, but I'll show you them anyway. These are the three pack of cushion covers. It just says beige 50-50. I'll open them up so you can see. So for the new house, they're not for now. These will go perfectly with the sofa that I've got in mind. They're just a very neutral. Can you see them? Very neutral three pack. So we've got the stripe, then like the woven linen and a thinner stripe than the first one but the lovely the very thick quality the 50 by 50 centimeters if they are back in stock i'll link them down below because i did get these a good few weeks ago now they're absolutely gorgeous and i wanted to get two packs but i only bought one because i was like it's, it's such a faff to have to retain them if they weren't what i was expecting them to be but I'm really happy with them and it's always the way isn't it that I only ordered one pack and I mean the chances of me getting into Liverpool to our H&M home shop it's not going to happen for a, a, at least a few weeks so I'll just keep trying to order them online but I've got them saved and if they are in stock I'll link them down below for you. 17 99 for the three pack bargain is still up the wall but hopefully, I mean, time's marched on, it's half two, and I don't know whether I'm going to hear anything today. As I thought, as I've heard of it being Monday and a nice fresh start of the week, that I would have got a phone call or an email. In fact, I haven't checked my email. We are definitely due an update of some sort. No, no email. I have, however, ordered an air fryer from Amazon, and I've received an email to say that it's been shipped it'll be here tomorrow because it was on prime but anyway i'm going to put these covers onto the chair and the sofa and make the room look a little bit tidy and <laughs> disturb the dogs i always feel mean disturbing them this the couch is actually collapsing there how bad's that Pillow does usually go there, but I'm just going to leave it on there for now. It's fine. I think we'll be lucky to get another year out of this sofa. <laughs> it's completely collapsed this end. They actually don't lie when they tell you that moving is one of the most stressful things to do because I feel like the house is up the wall and I can never give it that deep clean, like get rid of all the dust. I miss being able to film clean and content. And all I can say is when I move, clean and content will be coming thick and fast. I can't wait to start creating little 
room makeovers and show you all my ideas for the new house. I'm so excited to do all that. But more than anything, I'm so excited to clean this house for one last time and get it all lovely and sparkly clean for the new owners. But I feel like it's getting worse and worse. The more it gets left, I'm like, oh. This chaos right here <laughs> has been going on for, I want to say about six weeks. I started about six weeks ago and I was that person that thought I could up and move in one day. I didn't really have that much stuff apart from Christmas decorations. I actually don't own that much stuff. I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a hoarder. Thank God I'm not a hoarder. I am very sentimental with certain items that I've got that really do hold sentimental value to me, but I'm not a hoarder by no means. But when I look at all this, I'm like, am I a hoarder? Do I have hoarder tendencies? I've just amassed this huge load of boxes that are ready to go to the storage unit. I just didn't want to take them there because you just never know what can happen. You never know what can happen. Anything can happen, Carney. So that's what has stopped me from going to the storage unit. Everything is prepared. I'm just waiting on that date. And as soon as I get that date, it's full steam ahead. But yeah, it's becoming a little bit overwhelming looking at all this. And I've spent a couple of hours trying to get organised with my own wax melts and perfumes so i've been putting the labels on the bottles did i show you the new glass bottles if i did i can only apologize if i didn't then these are those these bottles that i've got made up here are my halfetti style perfume bottles pen halligan's halfetti i don't know whether you're familiar with it it's one of my favorite fragrances so Obviously, I don't want to have to go and spend £200 on a bottle of perfume. I will now create my own Halfetti perfume, which I've done, and it smells absolutely beautiful. And they are available in my Etsy shop for 5 99 I knew there was something I wanted to speak about as well. But yeah, I do my own version of Halfetti, Juniper Sling, Armani C. I have Tony's Blend, which is my own fragrance. It's a secret fragrance, so I don't share any details at all about that fragrance but it's beautiful if you love a fresh clean laundry bubble gum it's just a lovely smell tony's blend but it's a secret blend um they're all available in my etsy shop but i did and i have got my website launched but i've created my own website with the help of arlie and it's a lovely website i just haven't got round to launching it yet with the whole house move and everything else i thought i'll wait until i've moved and dealt with all of that because as you can imagine when i speak about one of my products it's so lovely that a majority of my subscribers and audience that watch my videos want to try them out and want to purchase and it means the world to me honestly when you come into my etsy shop and you purchase one of the items that i've made it makes my day it's true a person who owns their own brand does a happy dance when somebody wants to buy their product. So I thought rather than being not snowed under, because come on, I don't get snowed under, but rather than ending up with a lot of orders and becoming overwhelmed with that too, I'll wait until I've moved. <laughs> I just don't think I could cope with it mentally. I just don't think I could launch the website and worry in that way. Whereas my Etsy shop is really easy for me to manage and maintain. There are only selected items available in that shop, what I have made and ready. Nothing can be purchased that isn't available. So until I've moved, the website won't launch, but it looks absolutely lovely. And I've attached my blog to it. And I'll add other things to it as time goes on. I'll add little banners. I've got loads of ideas for the website anyway. But yeah, they're my new little glass bottles, which are absolutely lovely. I did have an issue with the label sticking to the plastic bottles. I think the coating was just a little bit too rough. But the glass bottles are lovely. They're very, very pretty. These are the other style bottles. I think this is Halfetti. Yep, yeah, that's Halfetti. That's Penhaligon's Halfetti. They're my old style bottles. And the labels just weren't sticking on them properly. So I switched out. They're the, exactly the same. They're no different at all. Same size, just same supplier. Just one's plastic and one's glass. That's the only difference. Now I think while the washing is on the line still drying, it's probably dry now, I'm going to make a nice chicken pasta for tea tonight. It's just very easy while the weather's nice and warm. I think it's like 18, 19 degrees. But while the weather's nice and warm, you don't want to have to stand over the cooker and cook 
and also you don't want to eat anything that's really like stodgy and hot so i'm just going to do a plain chicken pasta salad for us to have for tea and i put it into a nice big bowl and people can just get it not people <laughs> lee and lee can just get it as and when they want I just used the Fusilli pasta, the big one, and I'll probably just use half of this packet. I use that. I use the Marks and Spencer's mini breast fillets. I just fry them off in a frying pan. A half of cucumber, and I dice all of that and put it all in. And a red onion. And mayonnaise, of course. Don't forget the mayonnaise. Today I'm going to use Heinz 57 Seriously Good Mayonnaise because it's gorgeous. so much to lily silk for sponsoring today's video and i'll see you all in the next one